Hello all and welcome, and I'm the Big Tau Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk about the left, meaning the cultural Marxist parasites and puppets of the global elites, pushing the always-believe-her narrative, meaning that if a woman ever claims to have been sexually assaulted or raped, that you should automatically believe her, no questions asked, and just throw that bum scumbag guy in jail for 80 or 100 years without question or trial. Now, why does the believe her when she says she was assaulted, raped narrative exist? It exists because the left wants men to get married so that their resources can be stolen. The left want men to marry at all costs. Yes, it's true. Marxism does hate the traditional family. That's no lie. But within 10 years, the majority of marriages are over anyway. So it's all good for them. Man gets married. Woman divorces man because it's just too easy. And man loses everything. Really dumb man gets married again, loses it all again, thinks it's him, and does it yet again. And loses it all again. Marriage is nothing more than the state and global elites picking men's pockets while at the same time incentivizing them to work harder, to provide for their family, produce more resources, which you can then use to buy shit for the family and pay taxes on, of course, and enrich the global elites while you at the same time create more debt. Excellent for them. Marry, work hard, accumulate assets, and then lose said assets when wife divorces you. Wife gets it all, and then spends it all, since women spend the majority of money in the West anyway. For you see, men, well, men tend to save. And the global elites, well, they don't like that, because they're all bankers. And they create, can't create debt if people are not spending their cheap money. And you can't get people to buy houses to their family so often as they do if they're not getting married in the first place. You see, marriage motivates a lot of house buying, you know. One of the main forms of debt, by the way. You can't pick the man's pockets if he's not spending gads of money on his new family. You can't pick his pockets if he's not married, thereby giving her the rights to at least half his shit, sometimes more. If they don't get married, well, they can't get divorced, and the woman can't take it all and then spend it all, as women always do, thereby putting more cheap money back into circulation for the banks to use to fractionally lend 10 times more than whatever it is that you have on deposit. Plus, they cannot create that nice, juicy debt that really makes them super wealthy. What with, you know, paying all that real money that you are in interest for the fake monopoly money that they simply print out of thin air. But... They can only create this massive amount of debt and pick your pocket beyond the amount that they already are, of course, if you get married. Otherwise, they can. And more and more men are not getting married. Uh-oh. That's bad for the bankers. Men saving their money, not getting married, not creating debt, not handing over their money to simpletons who will just turn around and spend it on useless shit. No way. The elites can't have that. So how do you discourage that? How do you stop men from giving up 100% of the time on marriage? How do you stop this new and rather recent single forever, never get married trend from taking hold? How do you stop the pump and dump mentality from becoming mainstream? Why? You scare the shit out of men, of course to the point where they will never, ever sleep with another woman again out of fear. What fear? Why, the fear that he might get accused of rape. You see, this is popping up more and more in the headlines, and I see it all the time. For example, new laws being considered to punish players who have firmly decided never to get married. Laws, for example, that will automatically make a man a rapist if he lies to a woman about his job just to get laid, laws like that, for example, or laws that say you should, well, narratives that say you should always believe her, no matter what. Yeah, always believe her story, the state says. Well, the left, which is the state. God forbid you question a woman who claims she's been raped, because, oh no, a woman would never, ever lie about something like that. No way. That's just too serious. 
It could destroy a man's life. No woman would be so petty and cruel. That's just unimaginable. Or laws that let women get off the hook if they're found out to be lying about such things. Where they get zero jail time and maybe some unsupervised probation at most. But you the man, well, you could go to jail forever if her story didn't have any holes in it. And I hear it all the time from guys that it's just too risky to sleep with random women anymore. And they're just going to give up on women entirely. I've even heard some guys say it's better to get married, oh my God, and have easy access than to constantly be worrying about whether or not you might go to jail for hooking up with the wrong chick just because she might end up having day after regrets. Yes, and the whole goal is not even necessarily to get these guys to get married. Though that's part of it, of course. But no, it's simply the left sending you a message that you cannot get around us. We are in charge. And if you men try to go your own way and take away your valuable resources that we want to steal, then we will ruin your lives. Essentially, they're letting you know that you need to know your place. You need to know your place in society. That's also what all these new rape laws are really all about, to make men afraid of sleeping with a lot of women and to encourage them to get married instead, of course. And if you can't encourage them into marriage, if you can't encourage them to get married, at least stop them from pumping and dumping chicks. As this just sends the wrong message, And of course, it's against what, quote unquote, society wants. And it's working. A lot of you guys out there are swearing off sex altogether for fear of being accused of rape. And I get it. I get it. The left are expert at social engineering. The global elites, they want to make sure that men keep spending, buying houses, buying cars, buying shit for their kids, and then getting divorced because feminism has made marriage impossible to maintain. And then you have to give a final mega payment of half your shit and then end up having to pay for two, not one household, but two households instead of one in the form of child support and alimony, thereby feeding the banks more money so that they can endlessly lend on using fractional reserve lending and putting you further into debt with their monopoly money. It's a great scam, and it works perfectly. It works so well that the marriage machine cannot be allowed to stop. They can't have you stop marrying women. They need you to marry women. They need it. They need you to marry her so that their rhetoric and indoctrination can then break you up so she gets half and the kids can continue to be raised by the state, which they already were anyway, let's be honest. Since you and your wife work all day, then the kids come home, do four hours of homework, and the only time you speak to them is at dinner where you grunt at them, and then they return to their homework. And if you count up all the time you spent talking to them during the day, it might end up to 20 minutes. While the state, media, and government got 15 hours and 40 minutes of their time. Only now, with the both of you broken up, that 20 minutes has now become five minutes as the kid is now growing up in a single-parent household. And he also has less influence and stability from his family. Brilliant! New shills for the debt machine. And that can't be allowed to end. We need new converts. Men can't stop having babies with women. How dare they? They can't stop living with women. They can't stop transferring half their wealth and more to women. They can't stop spending all their money on their families and then alimony and then child support to boot. No freaking way. We cannot allow it to stop. And I could imagine the global elites all sitting around talking about their agendas for the next year. And they're sitting around discussing discussing this issue in particular. So you got one guy, he stands up and says, let's create laws that punish men for pumping and dumping women. Everybody else applauds. Yeah, great idea. What'd you have in mind? Oh, he replies, I have many things in mind. Schemes that will send a message and frighten off new converts to this going your own way nonsense. Men can't be allowed to go their own way then what would the parasites that keep our puppets in power do? We can't have men stop sacrificing their very souls for women. We need their money too much, damn it. They borrow too much from us to do it. 
and they work and produce too much. If they stop transferring their wealth to their women, then our clever pyramid scheme would just come crashing down. So yeah, what we need is to punish these idiots for thinking they could escape our clever trap. Ah, I've got it. I've got it. We create a narrative that women should always be believed. You know women. They're all feelings and no consequences anyway. So they'll just run with this shit. And the media too. As they're all a bunch of brain-dead zombies that just push anything related to feminism anyway. And our leftist agenda. And the government? Well, they'll go along because those fools are already in our pockets. And the others are just rubbing their hands together. Yes, excellent plan. We need to start pushing this right away. We can't let men start waking up and seeing that they don't need marriage and that it's bad and even destructive for them. Best to nip this shit in the bud before it becomes a problem. <laughs> and that, folks, is why the Believe Her narrative and all these bullshit new laws have come about. Stupid laws that say if two people have sex and they're both drunk, that only the woman is the one that can't give consent. Even though no force was involved, they were both drunk. So could she not also be accused of raping him since he was drunk as well? But oh no, only women are incapable of giving consent when drunk. Say what? And this bullshit narrative about always believing a woman and laws that make lying to get sex rape? Really? It's all designed to make men toe the line. Fear sleeping with random women and stop men from giving up on marriage because it is just too profitable for the global elites. Far too profitable. And that's it. It's really that simple. I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.